Hello friends and welcome to your element of fire yoga class. In this practice, we're going to be focusing on our own internal heat, building up a little bit of a sweat and working our entire body. So if you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. All right, beginning at the top of your mat, standing in Tadasana, your mountain pose. Feet are hips width apart, grounding down through all four corners of the feet, engaging your quads, tucking your tailbone, knitting your ribs together, pressing the palms of your hands forward, and letting your shoulders relax down away from your ears. You can close your eyes here if you'd like. And if ujjayi pranayama is in your practice, go ahead and start breathing like that right now. Breathing in through your nose and finding a slight constriction in your throat as you breathe out through your nose. Almost as if you were trying to make a ah sound, but with your mouth closed. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, fold from your hips, grabbing opposite elbows, bend your knees, ragdoll, letting your head hang heavy and rocking side to side. On your next inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, plant your hands down and step back, coming down onto your knees, shoulders above your wrists, hips above your knees. Taking a few cat cows here, so inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Inhale to arch, pressing down through your hands and the tops of your feet. Exhale to round. Inhale, arch, spreading open the collarbones. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Coming to a neutral spine, you're going to extend your right leg out, point your foot, and grounding down through your right hand, lift up your left arm. Keeping your core engaged here and creating a nice straight line from your fingertips to your toes. Go ahead and release and do the same thing on the opposite side. Left leg extends out. Take a moment to find your balance and then extend your right arm out. Holding for just a couple breaths here. And release. Beautiful job. Walking your hands forward just a little bit, tuck your toes and lift your hips up into your downward facing dog, pedaling out your heels if you'd like here. Fingertips are spread wide, shoulders are away from your ears. I'm finding a moment of stillness. Reaching your right leg straight up, pointing your foot and bringing your knee to your chest as you come through into plank. Extend your leg back up and bring it back into plank for two. Extend, knee to your chest for three. Extend your leg, bring it in. Extend your leg. And this time rounding through and stepping that foot up in between your hands lowering your back knee down and lifting your hands up into your Anjane Asana. You can keep your back toes tucked here, making sure your front knee is directly over your ankle. Beautiful job. Now grounding down through the ball of your back foot and lifting your knee right up into your high lunge. Take a moment here now shifting your torso forward, keeping your arms straight, bring your arms back behind you and circle them back up. 
shifting forward, arms back, and circle them up. Forward, arms back, and lift them up. Awesome job grounding down through your feet, trying to keep the integrity of that lunge. Just a couple more here. And last one, beautiful job. Opening up into your warrior two, lining up your front heel with your back arch, arms are parallel to the ground. Inhale, and on your exhale, straighten your front leg and take your reverse triangle, lifting up your right arm and sliding your left arm down your back thigh. Coming back into that warrior two, bending deeply into your front knee. Inhale, straighten your front leg and lift your hands to touch and with power, come back into your warrior two. Inhale, lift up and exhale, push it down. Inhale, lift, exhale down, keep going. Really finding some resistance here against yourself. Last one, awesome job. Straightening your front leg one more time, pulling your left hip back, reaching your right fingertips forward and down as your left hand goes high. Trikonasana, take a moment to stretch. If you can't reach the ground or if you're having a hard time here, blocks are always really helpful. Awesome, coming back into your warrior two and circling your hands down to frame your foot, stepping back into your plank. Take a moment here to make sure your shoulders are over your hips, your heels are right over the balls of your feet. Shifting forward, taking your Chaturanga Dandasana, coming into your upward facing dog, shoulders down and lifting back into your downward facing dog. Great job. All right, let's take it to the other side. Left leg lifts up, bend at the knee and bring it into your chest and back for one. Bring your leg into your chest and back. Bring it in, extend it back, in and back. Last time, bring it in and step it forward in between your hands. Bring your right knee down, leaving the back toes tucked. Take a moment and lift up into your low lunge. Navel in, knit the ribs together, making sure that you're not turning this into a back bend. Great stretch for your hip flexor. Pressing down through your back foot. Lift your back knee right off the ground. Great job. Now taking that same movement on the other side. So inhale, shift forward, bring your arms back and your hands up. Inhale forward, arms back, lift up. Shift forward, arms back, palms together. Inhale and exhale. Make sure you're breathing here. You're doing great. Just a couple more. You can always smile. Sometimes that helps me. Last one, great job. Opening into your warrior two, pressing down through the pinky toe edge of your back foot, straightening your front leg and taking that reverse triangle on the other side. Feeling that nice stretch along your left side body. Coming back into your warrior two. And inhale, 
lift up, exhale, press back down. Inhale, lift, bring the hands together, exhale down. Keep it going, you're doing great. Inhale to lift, exhale back down. Making sure you're keeping your tailbone tucked here so you're not arching your back. And last one, bring it down. Straightening your front leg, pulling your hip back, reaching forward, trikonasana. Broaden the collarbones and spread the shoulder blades wide. Thinking of drawing your feet energetically together here. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, coming back into your warrior two. Windmilling your arms down and stepping back into your plank. Awesome job. And taking your flow here, shifting forward, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, and take it back, downward facing dog. Awesome. Taking a few moments to come back to your breath. Your ujjayi breath is a great way to promote focus, to calm your mind in the midst of a challenge. So I'd recommend that you give that a try if you haven't already. Inhale the right leg up and exhale as you round through and step it forward in between your hands, bringing your left knee down, lifting up into your Anjaneyasana. Bringing your hands together and down in prayer. You can stay here if you like or you can inhale and twist to your right leg, twisting from the navel. If you'd like to take it a step further, go ahead and bring your left armpit to your right knee and lifting the back knee up. Again, you can totally just stay in your low lunge if you like. For an added challenge, go ahead and extend your arms out reaching your bottom hand for the mat and your top arm up to the sky. Trying to create one long line. Amazing job, bringing your hands back together in prayer. Staying in your high lunge, untwisting. And dropping down to your back knee bringing your hands down to the mat and walking yourself back into your half split. You can untuck the back toes if you like. Go ahead and lift up, straighten your spine and exhale, bring it down, making sure you're folding from your hips and pulling your right leg back and pushing your left hip forward, keeping the hips square, feeling that beautiful stretch all along your right hamstring walking yourself back forward into your low lunge lifting your back leg off the floor and stepping back into your plank take it through your vinyasa you can always just come into down dog as well if you'd like great job Going right into the other side, lifting your left leg up and rounding through, stepping it right in between your hands. Back knee comes down, inhale, and on your exhale, lift up into your low lunge, bringing your hands together in prayer at your heart center. and twisting towards your front leg from your navel, hips are square. And you can go ahead and bring your right armpit to your left knee if you like. Now pressing down through the ball of your back foot, lift your back knee off the ground. And again, stay here or extend your arms out, trying to create one long line from fingertip to fingertip. 
If you'd like to challenge your balance, go ahead and look up towards the ceiling or the sky. Bring your hands back into prayer and untwisting. Back knee comes down. Bring your fingertips to the mat and walk yourself into your half split. Flexing your front foot. Inhale to lift up and exhale to fold from your hips. Yoga blocks are also really helpful here if you can't quite reach the mat. Walking it forward, tucking your back toes, lifting your knee off the mat and stepping back, gripping the mat with your fingertips and hugging your forearms in. Shift forward and lower down halfway Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Smile your collarbones open and tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Looking to the top of your mat, bend your knees and walk your feet up to meet your hands and sit yourself down on your mat, reaching your hands out in front and lowering down slowly one vertebrae at a time until your back is all the way on your mat. Keeping your left foot planted, extend your right foot up and bend your right knee, bringing your right ankle to your left thigh, grabbing onto your left thigh and pulling that whole thing in. Taking your reclined pigeon, making sure your right foot is flexed to stabilize your knee. You should feel a really deep stretch all along your right glute here. And releasing as you bring your hands down to your mat, extend your left leg up and lower it down. Bring it up, keeping your right leg crossed over and lower, making sure your lower back is pressed into the mat. Keep going, lower and lift. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Keep going. Awesome job, two more. And last one. Great job. You can bring your left foot back down to your mat. Go ahead and release your right leg and taking your reclined pigeon on the other side. So left leg crossing over your right thigh, hugging your right thigh in, keeping your left foot flexed. Now releasing your thigh, bringing your hands down to your mat, trying to keep your fingers relaxed. Extend your right leg and lower and lift, keeping the left leg crossed over, lower and lift. Thinking of pulling your navel in, lower and lift. If you can't go all the way down, that's completely fine. Lower and lift. If your back is popping up off the floor, you're going too far. Last one. Awesome job, bringing your right foot down. Hugging your knees in. You can rock back and forth if you'd like. And keeping your right knee in as you extend your left leg long. Hug that right knee in, pull it into your chest. Give it a little rock back and forth if that feels good. And taking your supine twist, guiding your right knee across your body and onto your mat, extending your free arm long, palm down. If you'd like, you can hold onto your right knee with your left hand or you can also extend that arm out. 
Breathing space into the spine here, relaxing into this posture. Now slowly and mindfully release, bring your leg back into your chest, give it one more squeeze before you extend it out long and hug your left knee in, rocking it back and forth if you did that on the other side, just giving yourself a little love here. Beautiful. Now taking that twist on the other side, guiding your left knee over to the right side, extending your left arm out. And if your knee doesn't touch the ground, don't worry about it. You can always just let gravity pull your knee down. Or if it's uncomfortable for you, you can place a block or a book under the knee. You can keep your gaze up or for a deeper twist, Keep your gaze towards your left fingertips. Awesome, and it's time to release, slowly bringing your left knee back into your chest. And bring your right knee into your chest as well, giving yourself one more hug lifting your head off the mat and coming into our final posture shavasana extending both your legs out to the sides of your mat letting your feet fall out letting your arms rest by your sides palms facing up and close your eyes here not trying to control your breathing just letting yourself be, relaxing the space in between your eyebrows, letting your shoulders sink down away from your ears, and not trying to control our thoughts here. Just breathing, just listening to my voice. Inhale, exhale. The philosopher Plutarch said, the mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled. When we practice yoga, that is exactly what we're doing. We're learning to tame the fire that is our mind, to tame the fluctuations of our mind. So rest easy, knowing that you're putting in the work to cultivate a healthier body and mind for yourself. You can stay here as long as you'd like. In fact, I would encourage you to stay here for as long as it serves you. But if you'd like to finish up your practice, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes rolling onto your right or left side and pushing yourself up slowly to a seated position. On your next inhale, lift your arms out and up, bringing your palms together and down to your heart. One more time, inhale, reach up, collect all that good positive energy and bring it down to your third eye chakra and then down to your heart, thanking yourself for doing something amazing for your mind, your body, and your soul. It's been my honor to guide you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Please give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that little subscribe button. I would absolutely love to have you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My handle is the same, the Desert Daydreamer. Lots of good things happen over here, so I hope to see you over there. Otherwise, 
Thank you again, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.